Okay guys, I decided to do a video me using my Pinnacle software that I decided to um, do a review on. Editing software that is. It's the Pinnacle Studio 12. Which is right there. And for that, I'm going to be using a high definition camcorder. Which is right here. Canon HG10. High definition. And you can see I already have my USB cable plugged into it it's already been connected to my laptop now what you guys would do if this is all connected if you're using the same software as me you just go over here and just click on it turn it on one time turn it on and you wait a minute and then you just go over here again and then go up to where it says mode Click up mode and you have two thumbnails or whatever movies you have as thumbnails that gets shown. Over here you can see it's been uploaded. You just right right click, you have to copy, come over here, I click and I'm pasting my folder. That folder, the ABCHD is being copied there but it's going to be here and you'll see it there it is do not drag and drop your folder file off the camcorder you copy paste it now we know where it's at I'm moving over here I'm going to open up my Pinnacle 12 software which is there that opens up pretty quick because it's a quick computer 280 gigahertz hyper threading back in 2004 with HP and it's a 2004 model now you see how it opens up. You've got a little pinnacle window here. You've got your toolbar up here. You've got your other options over here. And I crawl it down the side here. We're going to go to File. And we're going to open up Import Media from Device. You're going to see right here. What's in your ABCHD. Which if I show you my E file, E folder. E drive, I meant to say E drive. Go to start menu, go to my computer, and you'll see my Canon can't high definition is E drive. And that's what's showing right here in lists. You can see the listings. The the one is a movie, the second's a movie, the third and fourth are the JPEG thumbnail photos of the movie. So you want to click on select all and watch what happens over here. Select all now, and it should pop up here. I'm sorry, there. What I'm over here for? I didn't edit the movie yet. It opens up here. See that? To be honest with you guys, before I start doing this tonight and doing a review, I was playing around with it. I never knew how to get the AVCD folder or video format onto the software. I know how to use the ULead Video Studio 11. Plus, but not this pinnacle. Now I know how. Now, what you would do, I imagine, because it's the first time you're using it actually, is import here, I guess. Import it. And it's going to import to, I guess, it's going to my video folder. But it's going up there as well. Yeah, my video. It's going to be right there. Yep. Perfect. Now, since they're there, Recorded 1440 by 1080 because that's the con configurations on the Canon. It's not full high def. Now, I guess I normally would just. I imagine like the other software, just take it and drop it in your storyboard here. Right? And you go to the. And there it is. And that's a beautiful picture. That's excellent. Let's give it a little play back. Let's turn up the sound. Okay, it stutters a little bit, you can tell that. Okay. That's because it's not editing. Okay, so I know what the problem is with that. Okay, so we're gonna just pause this. Back to the beginning like that. And that's the first one I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna add them both in because the 
This was done in the uh, morning sunrise and the afternoon. So I'm going to do one at a time, but let's just go to where it says make the movie now. I got one movie imported on my storyboard, one movie at a time. Let's go up here where it says make the movie. I'm not going to add anything, any um, any kind of text message, any descriptions. Let's just go here. I could pick this option, MPEG4, I guess. Well, let me show you what you guys can have a choice of. You have these choices here. Uh, flash video doesn't do, high def, AVI is not, DivX is not, MOV is not, MPEG1, MPEG2, Windows Media, you can do that as a high def, but if I go to MPEG4, that's going to be high definition, use this preset to create high definition videos for playback on your computer or HDTV, go to this one now, MPEG2 would be also it's custom, you can customize that one, I don't want that. Let's try Windows. This also can be done, yep, here we go. High definition at 720, 30 frames per second. Here's the one I'm going to use. It's going to be Windows Media, WMV used, file name, file type. It's going to be Windows Media at 720 by 30 frames per second. Here it is, 1280 by 720 recommended for YouTube, 5.1 surround sound, 16-bit, and then when that's done, you just go here. If you choose that that format, to create file. It's gonna create it right here. I'm not gonna name it. It's my movie. It's going on my desktop. Click OK, and you can see right here it's starting there. Rendering frame one, it's moving right along there, and then you take a look over here, and you'll see it's moving. And you can see over here in a few minutes, you start seeing yellow because it's making the movie. Can you see that, guys? There it is. The numbers. Are writing the frame and it's getting done the movie getting progress in here the video format is showing right there that's the hard drive space and it's going to take a little while because there's going to be total frames used 2,894 frames so that's about it guys for this video. I hope this helps you guys out. Let's just watch a little bit more of this since I got time left on my SD card. You can see right there it's being made. The video is being made. This to be honest, since you can't see it because of the camcorder reflects different quality, this is like glass. That is such a perfect video. We're up to 97 now frames. And counting. It's creating the movie right here on my toolbar. This actually is the Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 12 software I'm using. First time ever learning how to use it tonight. I had it over a year now. You just have to Go up to file and then just capture import your media from your camcorder which I'm using this one the Canon HG10 very it's a excellent camcorder it takes beautiful video even though it's not full high def guys 1440 by 1080i is not too bad 1920 is probably a little lot better but I'm working on getting the can HF100 someday in my life. Why? Um, no hard drive. Strictly record to SDHC cards and no moving parts for a longer lasting quality camcorder than having any kind of repairs needed in the future. Okay, back to this now. Still getting done guys, I know it's taking time. 
Um, I'm up to almost 10 minutes of this video length. If I got to do any other additional reviews on this, I will gladly do it. But you guys take care now. Any questions, comments are needed. Bye.